what we did a lot in the background is reviewing case studies uh, on my part to make them readable to the public, short enough, plain English, a design sort of attractive to the public. The trustworthy way that data is used is very important to us. So this year we worked, we continued obviously meeting. We've been concentrating on the website content We've been working on more case studies. We also thought it would be interesting to add some more public surveys and with more variety, with diversity. We know that it's really important to reach out to them in a clear, accessible and appropriate way, give them the right messages. And that is exactly what Data Saves Lives is all about. So that's, that's synergy so data saves lives can help us reach out to this important stakeholder group all our communication solutions have been built in interaction after consultation after collecting input by stakeholder groups so last year before the official launch of data saves lives we created um, a website after consultation of patients a few weeks ago, we had our first tweet chat on COVID-19, which we were, we were very happy about. It was the first of a series. Now, this webinar is also the first of a series. And in fact, the main objective, as I see it, in the, of this, this presentation is, is launching a call to everyone who is listening, like, let us know what is on your mind, because we are trying to fit your needs in the best possible way so we know we have to know what's on your mind please help us help you so please give us the topics you want to see developed there will be uh, some information at the end of the seminar of this webinar on how to give us feedback but in fact we want the people to decide what they want to hear about we want to be agile and and react to the big issues of, of our of reality. So like in this way, we have quickly adapted to the new reality of COVID-19. And in fact, it has, COVID-19 has really accelerated interest in health data sharing and reuse. It has boosted awareness as the topic has been in mainstream media in a, in a very large scale. So people are really aware now that health data can serve scientists and researchers and clinicians to find connections, find causes, define risk profiles, develop treatments, develop medicines. So they are really aware of the, of the potential of health data. But at the same time, it has also heightened concerns about data protection and data privacy. So um, this is a conversation that Data Saves Lives can contribute to because we have this unique mandate, the position that we take so, well, these, these recent uh, evolutions have really strengthened this and, and, and have motivated us even more that what we are doing is really center stage, is really important and is going to be even more important. I truly hope that this is not a project, but as an initiative, it's an ongoing wish and desire and the community that will work together on the creating understanding of the importance of data sharing, access to data, the quality of data, the interoperability questions, and all this, what matters for the medical science and for improving quality of healthcare. Approximately 2,000 people to, who come to our hospital either were inpatient or outpatient treatment and procedures have slightly different view on it because they often see data as something which is about them and contributes to their treatment. And I think this understanding of the importance of health data as a public good, which contributes to overall understanding of medicine and to raise awareness that all what we know about medicine today is thanks to data and healthcare without data is nothing. We have already had several discussions in the advisory board about this, how to support this initiative from the perspective of uh, advisory board member practical uh, uh, everyday practice. I uh, 
think that the uh, advisory board is a nice complex of different experiences from the European institutions, from the ethics experts, from the patient organizations, from people who work really in the data community that would bring together the support for this initiative from different aspects and could engage the broader community than those who are working directly with the initiative, but also who can contribute to this initiative from the other aspects. COVID-19 has clearly demonstrated how important is the quality of data, how important is the quick access to information and uh, sharing this information that we have. I think we benefited in Estonia quite a lot from uh, this information that we had an access to from other member states and that has really improved our understanding of the procedures and that has made us ready for this first wave in a level that helped us quite a lot. The importance of patient input into these data lakes, uh, because the information that we have about health does not necessarily be limited to electronic health records in the hospital or at the or, uh, general practitioner office. This information related to our health is in many places and uh, patient input and the collection of this information can be really a valuable input. So this engagement of both sites in this creation of good data and providing an access to this is a crucial point here. So it's, it's a very, very important one. So how can you do this to, to support this safe environment and to support data saves lives? Um, we'd ask you to share your, our tweets. Not very good at that, but I'm sure you mostly are. Uh, Instagram post, bring up health data issues that or themes that are interesting to you, and then take part in these webinars like, like these ones. I mean, this is the first one of many, we hope, to enrich the discussion, which is so important. And then please go on the, D, on the Data Saves Lives website uh, for ideas. I hope that gave you a bit of an idea of what we do on the board and you're very welcome to ask any questions um, later on.